How important is personal mobility for all of us? To be free to move and access everyday functions such as education, healthcare, employment and social activities. For many people, however, the current mobility system does not function as it should, which often leaves them with considerably fewer possibilities to engage in society. Inclusion is a three-year European Union-funded project that aims to address the challenges related to the accessibility of public transport in prioritised areas, that is, peripheral, urban and rural areas, where accessibility, inclusive mobility and equity challenges are greatest. Inclusion identified and analysed concepts and solutions that are already applied in European regions and elsewhere and proposed a range of innovative and transferable solutions to ensure accessible, inclusive and equitable mobility for all and especially for vulnerable user categories. In some deprived urban neighbourhoods or remote rural areas, having access to an efficient and inclusive public transport system integrated with shared mobility solutions means greater access to employment, educational and social opportunities. Different people can be vulnerable to exclusion for different reasons. This can be due to age, location, income, gender, ethnicity, physical or cognitive impairments or combinations of these. As a result, there are many different mobility needs and varied solutions for addressing these needs. Inclusion measures were tested on the ground in six pilot sites across Europe. In the Cairngorms National Park in remote rural Scotland, a public-private partnership with local bike shops provided a successful and cost-effective mechanism for delivering an e-bike hire scheme, helping young locals access employment and aiding older residents to keep active and healthy. Flanders region in Belgium explored the potential of new app-based technologies for vulnerable user groups, including an app for elderly and disabled users to book a volunteer ride-sharing scheme and enable access to local services. In Florence, local bus lines were redesigned to improve connections with tram and train services for rural commuters and migrants in deprived peripheral areas. In the Rheinsieg district in Germany, the increase in afternoon bus frequencies and the reduction of single bus fares resulted in five times more trips of parents accompanying their children to primary school. In Budapest, the transport staff was trained to increase their competency in recognising and assisting vulnerable users. A crowdsourcing platform was designed to collect feedback and opinions by the users on transport services. The Barcelona pilot improved access to social and cultural events for young people thanks to the provision of 11 new commercially viable collective bus routes from peri-urban and rural areas. This improved access to around 450 young adults and teenagers. Learn what steps your city, region or organisation can take for a more inclusive mobility. Find useful resources, tools and solutions at www.h2020-inclusion.eu.